wanna be a weekend lover Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers I don't wanna meet your mother Never ever ask me how I've been Remember why you have my number I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do Just stop to see the doggies. They're still sleeping. So beautiful here. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. But baby, I don't want to lead you on. Not looking for something steady. Not ready for that. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shout out. Show me what you can do. Make a move. this better <laughs> it's adjusting that light um, anyway today we're gonna go to San Diego one of my girls is going to be taking pictures of me that's a good news because I have no help at all but the reason why she's doing this is because uh, she wants that I pick her boyfriend up at the airport <laughs> so that's the way to pay me yeah she's gonna pay me with pictures and that's good because I have an upcoming collaboration due to video pictures for Instagram stories and stuff like that and that's going to be really helpful so that was the deal I told her I can pick your boyfriend up at the airport if you take pictures of me and she said deal <laughs> and that's what we're doing so we're heading down to San Diego and I'm gonna take you with me well I'm gonna take you with us before we leave, let me show you today's outfit. It's very simple. Honestly, I was wearing sneakers. Right now, I just changed to this Jimmy shoe just to be more presentable, but I am wearing this bodysuit from Misguided that I love so much. This super high-waisted denim flare jeans from Express. I already told you, Jimmy shoe heels. And just to give a pop of color, of course, my new green coach bag. And this is the outfit. I'm wearing a bun because it's so easy. And I have antennas. Oh, I get it. Ding, 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 ding. Should I go 76 or 78? I think 76. Looks kind. Featured. You just say yes. Oh, okay, yes. I don't have makeup. <laughs> Sunday guys happy Sunday yes it is 6 55 I already took a shower and I'm wearing a jumpsuit but I don't want to put makeup on my jumpsuit yeah and I still don't do anything to my hair yeah I didn't I didn't wash my hair today <laughs> I'm gonna be doing my makeup with you meanwhile we're chatting we're gonna be using the usual Revlon this is what I use and honestly this is one of my favorite ones I'm gonna be using this NYX brush today is going to be a very chill day I'm getting ready for the week 
therefore I need to do some grocery shopping. I'm gonna stop by Costco because my kids love the tamales from Costco. Yeah, who knew that Costco will have good Mexican tamales? Do you know what a tamal is? It's very, very good. <laughs> it's traditional Mexican food and it's so good. It's so, so good. My daughter took a bunch of pictures of me for my Instagram. She's so good. She is so good. I'm gonna go ahead with Francesca Powder by Laura Mercier. Yeah, she has the eye, the Instagram eye. <laughs> yeah, we took a bunch of photos, took a vintage of her. You know, it was a transaction. Today is going to be uh, makeup, no makeup, but I use a lot of products. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my contour. I'm using this Gucci one. I love it so much. This one is the number 01. And I use this as a contour because I cannot live without contour. And I am applying it with the same foundation brush. Today we're going to go to Costco. <laughs> I need to do some shopping and I need to buy tamales. And I'm going to stop by Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Probably Asian. Huh? Who knows? Who knows? I wanted to go to Sarah yesterday, but I couldn't. But let's make it happen today. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you that a brand new company from cosmetics I'm not gonna tell you the name but they sent me their entire makeup line I tested before I wanted to show it to you but it was no good their foundation is pretty good but when I was trying to open the foundation package the foundation stick just came out like okay I have two foundations and I was like okay probably this one is defective well I opened the the second foundation tube okay, I think. and it did the same and I was like oh man then their highlight was no good. It was like applying sweat to your skin, like literally. Hmm. I don't see it. It looks more like a wet type situation. Hmm. I don't know about this. Yeah. So I emailed the company and I emailed the CEO of this company. She didn't respond. This has been a week. Therefore, I decided to not post the makeup line because it has some issues. And how come you're gonna be, I'm gonna be promoting something that I know that is no good. Uh, I feel so weird and I appreciate that they send me their makeup line, but honestly, it's not good. I'm gonna go ahead with my brush and I am using this from MAC is the Melba and what Ali Andrea um, taught me is that we need to apply it with a beauty blender it's better than a brush and always upwards so it gives us a lift <laughs> okay All right now I'm gonna blend with the brush a little bit this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills you know that I love this one and I use this one. Oh wow. And then with my finger, just go to down like this here and then here. I'm going to use this Dior. This is a sample that they gave me a long time ago. I need to buy another one. Well, this was a sample. So I need to go and buy a palette. I really like the Dior formula. And I'm just going to go ahead with this uh, color as a baseline. I'm using this uh, brush and just like this, just to give me a little bit of 
dimension on my eyes and then I'm gonna go use this one it's kind of like a golden pigmentation so we're gonna go to Costco we're gonna buy tamales and I'm gonna go to Sarah no hope with Sarah because lately their designs are so bad so ridiculously expensive and so bad I'm gonna go with it with this one it's more like a chocolate type of color and I'm not going to use eyeliner I'm going to go ahead with the same eyeshadow the darker color as a eyeliner oof for a makeup no makeup that just went a little bit too far if you know me you know that I love the lip liner from MAC this is the world and I'm going to overline my lips always because I don't have lips and I discovered this one this one oh my gosh this one is the Maybelline Superstay in crayon this is incredible I used it yesterday for the photo shoot oh my gosh it doesn't transfer and it lasts forever honestly it's so good and look at the tip so so good and I love this color this is the color let me see I don't know which color is this I'm just gonna put it in the description box below it's very creamy and it lasts forever and it's a really good option right now that we're wearing face masks when I wear lipstick and I wear a face mask oh my gosh my lipstick gets transferred all over the face mask and these ones mm-hmm no problem with this one and this color works perfect with my lip liner okay the perfect new new favorite you need to wait a little bit because it feels very creamy you need to wait and it's going to dry and it's not going to transfer this is today's makeup i'm going to go ahead and eat breakfast and we're going to go to costco later this is today's outfit very simple and very comfortable because i'm going to be running errands i just want something to look you know okay and here in the house and but cute at the same time and i'm wearing this jumpsuit from misguided this one one of my favorites one of my favorites the only con with jumpsuits is you know that when you need to go to the restroom with mother nature is calling you you need to show everything to the world but that's okay that's okay <laughs> and i'm wearing my adidas stem smith they are a little bit dirty but bear with me i'm just going to be here at the home and i'm gonna to go to costco and possible sarah yeah and if i'm over there close to the mall and i want to stop by sarah i'm not gonna come back home and change and go to sarah now no no i'm just going to go there to sarah and what i'm trying to say is i'm gonna be possible wearing this to sarah okay <laughs> and my hair my hair is down. I use the L'Oreal Steam Pot to straighten my hair. And so far so good. This is the second time that I test the L'Oreal Steam Pot and kind of like it. Mm -hmm. In comparison with the Dicer, way better. Way better, of course. There is a possibility that later on you're going to see me in a bun because that's my go-to. But right now I'm feeling my hair down. Like it. All right, guys, I'm on my way to Costco. I decided to wear this hat. This one is from Adidas, and I don't know which bag I'm going to be wearing. Look, mm, still strong. Love this lipstick. Well, lip, liquid. It's a crayon <laughs> from Maybelline, and it really works. Obsessed with this one. Mm -hmm. And it cost me like 10 bucks, uh, something like that. I bought it at Ulta. I'm just going to include it in the description box below if you're interested.
so that was Costco. Now I'm gonna go to Sara really quick because I have meat and I don't want that it goes bad because it's pretty hot. So we're gonna stop by Sara really quick and see what they have. The mall is right here, so yeah, we have to do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. to go to work and I just realized that I have not shown the stuff that I got from Sarah. So it is 5.48. Hopefully I can do this quick. I only bought four items and yeah, let's get started. The first item that I bought is this pair of shorts. Really nice color and this green color is so cute, right? It has these bottoms here at the front and they're really well made despite that they don't have lining. No, but the fabric is thick enough that I don't think that we're gonna have a citrus situation. These ones are a size medium. Yes, I saw the size is small and I was like, mm, that's pretty small. <laughs> and the price is $49.90. I think this will be very useful on summer. What do you think? Shirts are on. Oh my gosh, this color is a super cute and it's super in right now. You can see it all over the place on Instagram. And yes, these shorts are more on a, you know, formal way, but of course that you can dress them down when you pair them with the sneakers. 
I paired it with this top from H&M. This is square heels from, I don't remember from where, but they're Bottega Veneta I like and they're super cute. And this Mansur Gabriel just to keep the Bottega Veneta vibes of course. And this is the look. Really love these shorts. These are size medium and they fit a little bit loose here at the waist. However, I think that I'm okay with that for my body type because I have wide hips and these ones fit really good here at my hips. If I go size down, I think they will fit a little bit tighter here at my hips. Yes, they will fit at the waist, but they're going to be a little bit tight. You always have my body dimensions as part of the description box below. Take that as a reference so you have an idea of how the clothes are going to fit you. Next, I bought, yes, these are so cute and hopefully Hopefully this will fit because I am obsessed with these pants. These ones are a nice pair of high-waisted type of Capri type of pen because they are not full length. I really like that they are high-waisted and they have this zipper here and they have this type of closure. These ones that I bought are size medium and the price is $39.90. They have pockets guys. Here are the pants and you know what, I take that back, a Capri uh, situation that I told you before because they are not Capri. These are more ankle type of length pants. I'm 5'7 for reference and they're hitting me just at right there at the ankle. I really love that they're super high waisted, they have this pleat here. It's like mock pleat, however it just gives a little bit something to the pants. I think it looks really good. They have functional pockets and yeah, the color is a true white. You're not gonna see that whitish type of color here. No, it's a true white. And I know that because I was thinking to pair this with one of my blazers from H&M and I can see the difference on the colors. Therefore, I just decided just to pair with this bodysuit from Misguided, these sandals that are unlike Bottega Veneta, but without breaking the bank and my Monster Gabriel just to complete the look. It's a white look and I was thinking to pair this with the sneakers as well. Of course you need to be very careful since the pants are true white. No pasta sauce for you. <laughs> okay so take that into consideration. Citrus situation, yes, you do have a citrus situation. These pants do not have a lining, therefore you need to be very careful with the underwear that you're wearing with. So right, right, another white item. And this one, probably I can wear it today, <laughs> is a blazer. And it gives me Chanel bias because it has this type of fabric is like twill and hopefully my camera can focus there you go there you go all right so it's a little bit wrinkly because it was in the back but it has these golden bottoms well my camera doesn't want to focus today and it has a shoulder pads it is on the shorter side but it's so so cute Love that it has lining, so they didn't chip it up. <laughs> this one that I bought is size large because that was is the only size. And I was like, should I buy it or not? And I was, I really like it. So I bought it. The price is $69.90. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this will fit. Otherwise, I'm just going to return it. Here is the blazer and unfortunately I need to return it because it doesn't fit. I feel that it fits uh, big on me. This is size large. However, if I can exchange it for a size small, I will do it and hopefully they will have at the store. I'm going to go to Costa Mesa and see if they have, if they have this blazer there. But anyway, let me just show it to you. It has this type of a fabric that reminds me Chanel buys for some reason. It has these golden bottoms, golden bottoms here. The pockets are mock, they're not functional. However, it has a lining. It is really well made. Honestly, it's so, so cute. And I think it looks really good with my work outfit. 
I'm pairing it with this bodysuit from Misguided, super high waisted black trousers. Of course, you should have seen this all the time because these are my favorites. These are from Another Stories and these sock boots from ASOS. And to complete the look, my Bottega Veneta bag. This is a really cute blazer. Yeah, a little bit pricey, but you know what? I think it's worth the money. And last but not least, I have this dress. And this is cute. And it's perfect for the upcoming days of summer. And yes, it is print, but it's a really, really cute print. I'm thinking to pair this with a white blazer. Not this one, because this one is on the short side. A long hip length blazer. It has this um, flowy bottom, so, so cute. And it has this as a belt. It's really, really cute. This one that I bought is size small and the price is $49.90. No lining, of course. And I'm really concerned about the length situation, but you know what? If it doesn't fit, I can return it. The dress is on and is very flowy here at the bottom. I love it, guys. It's so cute but it's so short as well. Yes, it is on the short side, but since it looks like a bottom down type of shirt on a dress, it looks very formal. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look trashy. It looks elegant. Take into consideration that it's very see-through. Mm -hmm. So you need to wear shorts underneath or sleep underneath. I would suggest bike shorts or something more like a short side that type of thing because since it's very flowy, um, yes, there is a risk that you're gonna be showing your underwear to the world. But it's up to you, right? I'm pairing it with these veggie sneakers, my tatty kush bag that is on sale. And I know that I told you that the dress is on the short side. However, when you pair with a blazer, I think it looks very formal. And despite that the dress is short, you don't look bad. You really look put together. I want to show you how the dress looks with a blazer and a nice pair of espadrilles for a formal look and this is the type of outfit that you want to wear for instance to a baby shower or if you have brunch with your girlfriends this is the type of outfit right because it's very formal you're wearing a fun dress with this flowy bottom however it doesn't look mm, very juvenile right because you are pairing it with a blazer that is a more formal type of clothing and yeah this is the look this is the way to do it, guys. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna leave this vlog here. Hopefully you like it. I know it's a long one, but you know what? I really enjoy recording it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive notifications every time that I post a video. Even if you're subscribed to my channel, if you don't press the notification bell, you're not gonna know when I post the videos. Yes, I just found out about that. So please hit that notification bell to receive notifications every time that I post a new video. And you know what? Please continue watching videos here. <laughs> and I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Thank you.